Oh man, a call from Pan Am. Let's see what she has to say. V, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean a longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way, can't now. You're calling me? Where's the family? Yeah, you know what? Let's help her out again. She's just calling us out of the blue. Let's, let's help her out. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. See you soon. I didn't know this little graphic over here showing off the uh, the different guns and stuff like that. Yeah, so we get to such. I was over here at the uh, by my apartment selling some of the stuff or like condo or whatever that is over there. Selling some of the extra guns and all that kind of stuff over here. So that's what I just did. And then I just got a call from Pan Am right there, and I guess we go check out what she's doing. And uh, I was I was originally going to be like, oh yeah, look at that, you guys. We we can send a message to Claire now, start up that final race. But I guess we can't do that because we have to go do another thing for Claire <laughs> or uh, for Pan Am. So where do we? Uh, oh yeah, let's open up the journal. Let's switch over to that. I think we have a level up or two or something. Like that, right? A little help with my friends. Is this the one? Yeah. Go to the Aldecaldo camp. Yeah. Well, at least there's a fast travel, like right there. The Great Nomad Saga continues. Pan Am's up to something. That girl just doesn't know when to quit. And my God, I love her for it. You don't seem to know either, considering you want to go back there. Maybe you could save us all some time, pitch a tent out in the desert. I think we both know this isn't just about the job anymore. Ooh. I'm like, we did, we did get a little bit of a smooch from Pan Am, just uh, as, as like a farewell sort of meme there. A friendly smooch between two friends, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. This this might be uh, uh, purely a friend helping out a friend. Or maybe a little bit more. Who knows? Let's go over there to... Uh, where are we going? All the way over to here. Sheesh. Therefore, yeah, yeah, there it is right there. I was about to say, isn't there supposed to be a fast job like in the camp? But there you go. Let's go see what she wants. Apparently has Saul again. He probably got kidnapped again. Who knows what's happening, so... I guess we'll help her out, and then we can do the Claire race. It's like the final thing, and we can kill that one guy that killed her husband and all that kind of stuff. Uh, wrap up that little side storyline, I suppose. Oh, talk to Pan Am, Mitch, and Saul. Okay, where are they at? All the way, okay, up here. No. What's going on? The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols hey, every- you're here. Yep. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. Sheesh. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica job was a bust. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection. Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. Hm. What's this about a basilisk? Or basilisk or whatever. Guess we'll do that. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Hmm. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess your idea. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Worth a fight with Saul? Uh, I guess why is that? Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. What's the plan? Remember when you told me you uh, give a good kick in the pants? <laughs> ah, basilisk. What's Saul's problem with it? Uh, or Basilisk? Whatever. Into you. What? I'm, I'm going over like four different options here. Jeez, give me some time. <laughs> Thought you and Saul were getting along. Yeah, all right. 
or one you told me to give you a good kick in the pants. I guess we'll do that one for charisma or whatever that is. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to playing trick em. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Sheesh. What's Saul's problem with it? Guess we'll go over all the blue ones and then we'll do that yellow one. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like, we did that's literally like the first mission we ever did with uh, Jackie, right? I thought you and Saul were getting along. I guess we'll do that just for the memes. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. <laughs> Alright, well, what's the plan? And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. What? Okay, well, I guess we're going. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, she mentioned off, like, what, four or five different people that were also along board. N nice bald spot right there, by the way, Mitch. <laughs> oh, where is everyone else at? Just the vets on board, nobody else. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty darn risky, this. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! <laughs> the convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Mm. Nice job, Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Seems all too... Oh, uh, you know what? Let's do this one. And pertinent. It's all too easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes. Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Ooh. Intel on the convoy. Where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Sheesh. Guess we'll talk to the vets over here. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys? Let's see what they have to say about this. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back? Nobody would have given Corporal Work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Don't want to get involved. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's do it anyways. <laughs> I guess it's just going to be just like the last mission if I just do this and just leave. Or it's just like, okay, that's the end of this clear? timeline or whatever. I guess you could just do whatever else you want. And if we just ignore it now, then we'll never be able to do it again, I suppose. So well, let's do it. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Yeah, let's, let's ride with them. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. So what what, what are we eating here? What are we eating? It's like paper? Yep, paper burger right there. Paper sandwich. I, think I heard a little shake in that voice. <laughs> get in Pan Am's car. You All did right. not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? <laughs> Screw you. Oh, there's the fast travel, by the way. Are you That's cool. Sure you didn't let's get in. The yep, there you the go. Won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. I hear them like they're like right next to me. <laughs> but they're in like the other car or the other van or whatever. Let's go. 
All right, let's go. As they're knocking over a bunch of trees, no one at the camp is going to notice you gone. Nobody's going to notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Hmm. All right. Oh, expecting a raft in trouble? Ooh. I don't know, maybe. The raffins? What about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Hmm. Night City, don't miss your life there at all. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time, too, when I left the family. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Yeah. Jackie. I'll remember that. Yeah, if you ever go to the, uh, afterlife bar or whatever, you can get a drink in his name. I forgot what the ingredients were. Like a hint of lime and like a bunch of other stuff. We have arrived. <laughs> That's all I remember. I'd have to ask uh, Claire what the ingredients are because she's literally the bartender there, right? Oh, what happened to the van? Where is it? We're here at the rail tracks or whatever. We're going to be sneaking up uh, whenever they get here. What are we going to wait for? Oh, okay, we're still waiting for the other ones. Oh, wait, yep, there they are right there. Oh, jeez, what in the world? Then just drive this beast to the 101. Turn him back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? I am. Let's go. Wait for the nomads. I'm still waiting, I guess. For who? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. What are we doing? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. Hmm. V, any questions? Uh, let's do this. Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. Hmm. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in the spreadsheet as cost optimization. <laughs> it's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. All right, let's go into. Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, Rachel Kasich. Wait, who is this? Hey, it's Rachel. The, uh, Passion Project BD. Oh my god. Yeah. What's up? We've got a crisis on our hands. Could really use your help. Stevenson's had a breakdown. Nothing any shrink can do about it. Can you come here to the studio just to talk to him? Uh, sure. I guess we'll talk to him. Thought we're done. I guess we're going back to continue this mission. Of course. Fine, sure. On my way. He said he'll come. Thanks, V. Yeah, I thought that was like a done deal there. I wonder if we're done getting the cheesecake or whatever that was. But uh, yeah, I'll see if we can help Pan Am with this. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Hmm. All right. Another way in. Probably parkour up there or something like that, right? What are we doing? Oh, it changed the uh, the mission there. Whoops. They won't go when I go. Well, what do you know? This, uh... Oh, yeah, that's that mission. Hold on. Which one is it? This one? Yep, talk to the nomads option. I guess we could do that, even though we literally just talked to them, didn't we? On the entrance to the control uh, tower. I don't know if I want to. Oh, here we go. What you doing? Anything goes wrong, Pan Am will be the one to pay. Jeez. <laughs> what are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. <laughs> Happy to join you in your quest. Like anything goes south, Pan Am will be the one. Uh, don't let me interrupt. <laughs> Love to join you. Yeah, but I've got stuff to do. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Uh, okay, well you two have fun then, just doing nothing. While I do something. Have fun, kids. 
Yeah, I've got to be the one to do something, I guess, huh? I guess we talked to these. Is there another set of people I have to, I can talk to to get this optional thing done? I don't know, maybe. Hold on, can I uh, just break into this thing? Yeah, here we go. Pff, I, I thought I had to go like around and find another entrance, but no. Hey! Oh, that was quick. Yeah, thanks. It was a lot of work there. Give me some credit, too. <laughs> oh, oh there's just sparks falling out of that. Okay. I don't know what that chip was. I don't know what these are, but I'm taking them all. There we go. Get some uh, cards, and hey, I removed them there, too. Stapler. Got that removed as well. <laughs> is there anything else around here? Stairs it is, then. Yeah, whatever elevators here probably doesn't work, if there even is one. Euro dollars. I don't know how much I have. 51. Oh, I need to watch out. I'm getting a little bit rich here, you guys. Don't have a target on my icon back. They'll think I'm a corpo with how much money I have. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. Wait, they actually got something done outside? What? I don't know how they did that when they're just sitting by the cars. <laughs> just hanging out doing nothing but it turns the lights on, I suppose. Are we at the top? No. Yeah, look at that. We have to circle around at like five I've more. always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Hmm. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. What in the world? I thought that was like a safe or something like that. It looks like it could be. Okay, here we are. The world's happening back there? <laughs> oh, all the bottles fell. Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Punch cards. All punch cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. I thought that was going to take me straight to where I needed to go. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Hmm, let's look in the cabinet. Oh, whoops. Can I do that again? Here we go. Nothing here. Nada. Hand fun or hand fan? I was about to say hand fun. What does that even mean? Is that demonetizable? Welcome aboard. Nice little uh, chip right there I could read about. What's this? In inside a Metacorp? <laughs> There's so much stuff here. Like, people that love to loot and stuff like that and actually read lore probably love this game. Like, golly. What was that? I guess there's nothing there. Hold on, wait. Oh, wait. oh, here we go. Here's more stuff. Hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, well, well. Got it. All right, let's talk to Pan Am. Get some common item components, euro dollars. How much was that? 16, whoa. Need to watch out for that, you guys. I'm getting a little bit rich here again. I'm like, I just got like 50 something and I got another 16 right there. <sighs> really need to watch out. I might just buy like a new car or something like that with this kind of money. I need to buy a new car. We haven't bought a car like at all. The only cars and vehicles and stuff we got were like stuff that we got f like from doing missions. Like the Delamain is like our newest thing, right? And we have like two bikes and then the car that we literally started out the game with. We need we need to buy a new car. At least go back to that cave and find that one that that guy was commenting about a while ago. Oh. Got something. Here you go. Good job. Well, at least looking through all that stuff, there might have been a punch card there, but there wasn't. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? What is this? Why am I able to... Let's probably scan that. Yep, that's a file cabinet, alright. Yep, that's a door, alright. <laughs> Hold on. Bounce back. No. Activate the locomotive from the control panel. Here it is. Alright, here it goes. <sighs> here goes nothing. Oh, whoa, nice. RTX reflections. I can't even see the thing because it's so reflective. What? Oh, there it is. It's moving. Cool. Let's talk to Pan Am. Oh, there's Johnny. Little engine that could. Oh, it's going to go onto the main rail now. And it's going to stop the convoy or whatever. Seems like the plane is working. I wanted to speak with you. They're about to seem happier than he did in town. Let's do the Nomad one. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? <laughs> yeah, because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Ew. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because this is about the family, not Saul. What do you, uh, what do you want to talk about? Which, ah, they're both good. Do this one. Because it's all for the family, right? 
Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Oh, whoops, this Not one came off. Not another word from you. Whoops. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? I know it's important to you. I want to see how it plays out. Yeah, that, that last one, that I didn't really get the tone of that. <laughs> Sounded like I probably would have done the other one, to be quite honest. Not doing it for free. Jeez, what trust issues again? Want to see how it plays out? I know it's important. Let's do this one. Because it's important to you. But is that all? I, sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Savage. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cock this up. Guess you gotta start somewhere so far so good. Yeah, that's, uh... See, I'm not getting, like, tone or anything like that from just reading these. So far, so good. See, I don't know if that's, like, sarcastic or what. Now I don't know if this one's sarcastic. Now, uh, let's, let's do this one. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. <laughs> I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you... I prefer to play it safe. Why is it different from with why is it different with me? Don't feel any impulse one way or another now. Shame. Hmm. Let's do this one. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Whoa! You're overthinking it. Next time, try following that impulse. Man, th is this, what is this, the third time we're getting friend zoned here? What's happening? <laughs> Touch Pan Am's hand, ne hand. Next time, try following that impulse. You're overthinking it. Man, I don't know which one to do. I guess we'll do the first one. Next time, try following that impulse. See, I'm not getting any tone from this, so I don't know if this is like sarcastic or, or what are we doing here, but I'll do this one. Let's touch your hand and say this. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. All right. Join the nomads at the junction. Let me just jump out the window and join them this way. Yep. Oh! Oh, beat you down here, hater. What's taking you so long? <laughs> All right, let's meet them down here. Oh man, they got a campfire going and everything here. What in the world? Oh jeez, what the? He just appeared out of the campfire like it's a heckin' uh, portal or something like that. <laughs> Can I sit down here? I can't sit down here. All right, well, the, the train's out here. I thought I saw, like, a big explosion out there, but I guess not, huh? Still, uh, yeah, I guess we're still just waiting for Pan Am to get down here because she's taking heck it forever. <laughs> Where is she? She's not taking that long. I'm like, we just jumped out the window and then we're here, and she's, pro she's probably waiting for us because she knows, she thinks she's ahead of me, but I'm, I've been down here this whole time. Yeah, I don't know what, what she's doing here. Can I talk to people? Yeah, see, these people, what do they do? How do they turn the lights on or anything like that when they're standing here? And what about this person? Can't talk to you, can't talk to Mitch, can't do anything here. Oh, there's Pan Am. Jeez, finally, took you so long. Golly. All right. So now we can actually do something here. We could still Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Wait, who said that? Who said that? I don't know where that came from. I want to sit down here. Talk to veterans by the campfire. I'm like, I do that, but uh, they need to get over here first. Oh, whoa! Teleport! Teleport just happened. Oh, there they are! Whoa! What's with the tele- This is crazy! <laughs> I'm so confused. Where can- Oh, I can sit down right here. Sheesh. Hurry up and wait. Word about Saul. I don't know. What, what do I want to do here? You know what? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do this one. You worried about Saul? Who did I say that to? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Everything feels really zoomed in right now. Uh, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? 
Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling, thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Snake Nation, Saul was right. Let's drink to Scorpion. You know what? I'm kind of want to do that. Don't talk about the war much. Let's do this for Scorpion. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. Let's do it. We've got his bike and everything. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. Hey, I agree with that. To Jackie. Can't do another drink for Jackie, I guess. Oh, everything's all blurry and woozy now. <laughs> They got trying to get some shut eye. Snake Nation Soul was right. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's do another one for Jackie. Is this an unlimited amount of drinks? Kind of like that one time. And I think Pan Am was there too. Don't know that. <laughs> she, she like out drank us and everything there. There, that one for Jackie. Maybe we'll get some shut eye here in just a sec too. Uh, let's do this. I don't know if I want to mention the Soul was right thing. I don't know. It's a nomad thing. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it. I'm like it's a blue thing, so it's not yellow. So it's. It's completely optional, I guess, right? So uh, I guess I'll do it. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. Oh! <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Hmm. Don't talk about the war much. Yeah, you know what? Eh, let's do this one. Let's go get some sleep. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Alright, sounds good. Oh, whoa! What was that? Tell, uh, you won't be getting any sleep. Whoa. Wake me up if anything happens. Scooch closer. Gotten kind of cold. Whoa, I don't know if this will happen. I don't know what's going to come out of this. She's going to scoot just, just as... Off? She's going to scoot just as far away as from me as I'm going to go scooch towards her. Let's try it anyways. Grown kind of cold out here. Whoa! In front of everyone out here? Oh, I'm feeling all warm now. Wonder why. Not true. But this is nice. <laughs> Catch some shit eye with me. Whoa! I'll just lie here a while. By your side. Gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. <laughs> Good night, B. Oh, look at those stars up here. I wonder if they're accurate. Oh, I guess we're going to sleep. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Oh, whoa, whoa. Wake up, samurai. Let's ride, B. We've got a city to burn. Whoa, what is this? I just slept on like a pad right there. Whoa, what's that up there? Let's get in our car, truck thing, whatever this is. Let's go, let's ride. So they're here, huh? At least we got the train out, ready to go. We gonna go or what? Moving at four miles an hour. Pfft. It's very awkward. No, no conversation or anything like that going on right now. Cold shoulder in me. After what happened last night. <laughs> what are we doing? There we go. Yeah, waiting on them. All right, she's moving. Get her up to speed. There you go. It's moving. Oh, and actually, stuff attached to it. I thought it was just the, the front of the train. I guess not. Golly. This is going to be crazy. Oh, whoa, well, don't crash into us. Jeez. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming and hauling. Take out that couple. All right. Take it out. Where are we going? Take out one of the cars. Not both of them just yet. Just... Oh! oh there we go, got it. All you had to do was follow the darn train, CJ. I see them. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. 
Oh, drones. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's this driving? There they are. Oh no, no, the train crash. Whoa. Take down the drones. Take down the Militech. Time for the festive. Oh no, turret malfunction again. Golly. All right, we'll just get our guns out. There you go. Throw a grenade or something. Oh, oh, there's a guy like right there. What in the world? Holy. I didn't see that. You know what? Let's get the smart shotgun out. It's gonna be crazy. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, uh, boom. Nice. Get some great hits over here. Man, where are they? Oh man, let's get the sniper rifle or something like that out. Oop. Was this the overseer? Or over whatever it was called? There you go. Got a really good hit right there. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Took down that drone. Great. Oh man, there's a guy right here. Oh, no scoping that guy. Got him. Whoa, 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 what's over here? Oh man, I gotta Oh man, I need to I need to upgrade this thing. This takes forever to reload. Come on, he's across that good thing. I can take him out. What? I'm still loading right now? <laughs> Bob, go! All is planned, boss. Alright, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Alright, let's get in. Get in the vehicle. Which one? Oh, the ours. I thought we were going to Okay. <laughs> oh, let's get into her vehicle then. Yep. There you go. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. All right, let's escort the trucks to the Nomad Camp. I bet the turret on the top has malfunctioned, so I can't use that, unfortunately, so that sucks. But I guess they're uh, taking control, control of the trucks. thought we were going to be doing it. Fuck! It worked! Woohoo! Of course it did! Just as I said it would! Wait, why does she sound like she's on a radio? She's right next to me. Oh, they're honking their horn in celebration. I hear it outside. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Man, I can't even really get a good look at that thing. What's that thing called again? The, uh... Basilisk? Basilisk thing? Well, hey, it's kind of reminiscent of that one mission we got with Jackie. Where we got that little military robot or whatever. Except it's a billion times smaller than this thing, right? She two whole trucks to deliver this thing. All right, well, we can skip the ride, so we might as well. Yep, 700-something meters away, might as well. Oh, whoa! She wasn't even there for us. She just popped in. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Oh. Well, I guess because the plan went well, she's going to go up to Saul and be like, Hey, look what I did, Hater. Meet with Saul. He's all the way over there. What are you going to do there, Pan Am? Or is he going to come over to us? Yep, I think he's coming over here. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. Uh-oh. Look at him striding over here. You can tell he's angry. Went against his wishes. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! Oh. As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Sheesh. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Hmm. Some lungs you got, jeez. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Hmm. Seems to still be in fine working order. Seems like the family's on your side. Yeah, you know what? I, I definitely felt that. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Hmm. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. You had them from the start. We'll see. Everything all right? You need me again? Let me know. Let's do this one. Everything okay? 
Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. All right. Well, need me again, let me know, because I know you're going to heck and call me again. You need me again, all you got to do is call. V, I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. All right. Job complete. Did I get any money for that? I don't know if I did. <laughs> That's like the main thing I'm concerned about is just, oh, did I get any money for that? See, speaking of getting money, sounds like we can do the, uh, go back to talk to that one guy. He's going to heck and crucify himself, literally. In terms of, like, recording a BD or whatever you wanted to do there, which is insane to even think about. Uh, seems like we can go do that, and maybe we can continue progressing with that and maybe get some money out of that. Hopefully, I don't know. It sounds like we're going to get a lot of money out of it, right? So, it's definitely going to be worth it to go check that out. But, I do know, uh, call Mr. Hands. Yeah, we still need to do that thing with Judy. Uh, to go talk to, what was it called, that one gang? Or, uh, yeah, Voodoo Boys, we need to get the Astro... I, I'm already starting to get like what, all the details about this, so I need to I need to reread everything to kind of get up to speed whenever we uh, do more main storyline stuff here sometime. But Queen of the Highway, leave the camp and wait a day until the Basilisk is ready. Yeah, they're putting together the Basilisk uh, right now, so well, thankfully it sounds like Saul's okay with them putting it together as long as they take it out of sight there with giant Miltech logos and stuff. Uh, they won't go when I go. I think that's the one, right? Yeah, I talked to Vasquez, the uh, the police guy, the police chief or uh, lieutenant or who whatever he was. Well, what do you know? The Corpo, you know what, from the Crucifixion BD wants you to come back to her, or uh, to give her star a pep talk. Massages hecking shoulders and whatnot. Normally, I'd tell you to drop it, find something more fun to do. But I, I don't know. Seems like this Jesus freak could really use your help. I'm like, he could use a lot of help, but I don't know if I'm the one to help him out with this, but I suppose we could do it, you know, just finish up this thing while it's still somewhat fresh in our minds. Uh, then, of course, we could hopefully do... Beast and me, is that it right there? Yeah, I'll send a message to Claire and we can do that final race. Kill that guy that killed her husband, all that kind of stuff. We got a lot of good side quests that are side jobs over here, you guys. It's really good. Starting to get these out of the way here, but... Uh, oh, then, yeah, beat on the brat. We still need to do some of these fights over here. Definitely want to go to a ripper dock. See if we can, uh, especially with the money we have right now, almost 50k. See if we can do any really good upgrades that might help us out during a, a boxing match or something like that. I don't know. Beat on the brat. Oh, yeah, see, we've only done one out of four fights here, so... Arroyo... See, I don't even know which one was the hardest one, which one was the, well, I think we did the easiest one there. I don't know what the second easiest one is that we can move to next, and then third easiest, and then whatever the hardest one is. Because these all just say very high danger. Well, I guess it'd be this one, the moderate one, huh? Yeah, so I guess this a royal one would be the, the easiest one that we could do right now, and then this one's very high, then this one's very high, so I guess we'd have to pick our poison with these two here, but we'll worry about that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe pretty soon, because I definitely want to continue doing that. We do have some level ups as well, uh, attribute points. What do I want to do here? We did do a uh, pretty good amount of skill checks lately, and we passed all of them, I believe. Intelligence, cool. Both at eight bodies at seven. Kind of feel like that should definitely go up, especially because we're nomad. You know, it feels it feels like it just makes sense for us to have a, a pretty good body stat there. You know, so a little. Should I do that? Yeah, let's do that. Boom. I think it kind of evens things out. So now we have eight, 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 and then nine and ten. So it kind of evens things out a little bit there. You know, but eh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Everything will get a little evened out over time eventually, right? Then we have two perk points. What are we going to spend it on? Let's see. Let me go around here and see if I can find anything interesting that might fit us. Ooh, Street Brawl. This stuff over here might help out with those uh, those fights. Increases armor by 15% while blocking with a blunt object. Increases damage uh, from combo attacks with blunt weapons. See, this is going to be fist, uh, like a fist versus fist though, right? So I doubt any of this. Whoa, then again, yeah. Blunt weapons. That if, I guess fists also count as blunt weapons. So yeah, I guess that would count. Ooh. Hmm. Increases damage with blunt weapons against enemies affected by stun by 50%. I don't know, that seems really specific there. Increases damage uh, from strong attacks with blunt weapons by 30%. That sounds pretty good. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Hold the purchase. There you go. Got it. And increases damage from combo attacks with blunt weapons by 30%. Might want to do that. Increases armor by 15% while blocking with a blunt weapon. Let's do that. So we block with our hands and uh, increases our armor rating by 15%. So, hey, you know what? Boom. Let's do both of those. Those will definitely help out. And, hey incentivize us to finally do those heckin' other boxing battles that I wanted to do, right? Or boxing matches, whatever you want to call them. So, anyways, that was, that was a pretty cool little, quick little mission right there to go get the, uh, the Basilisk uh, military, Miltech thing right there. Pretty easy. And, uh, I don't know what the heck to do <laughs> after, after this. Like, what's gonna happen? They're gonna assemble that. I don't even know what, what was he even supposed to be? Like, a sort of tank or something like that? I don't know. Uh, oh, where's the fast? Oh, yeah, I know where the fast travel is. What is this? It was like a radio or something like that. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff around here I could loot. I, I need to come down here like sometimes, spend like 20 minutes just going through every tent and seeing what I can loot. <laughs> but I guess we could go uh, Queen of the Highway, leave the camp. Yeah, and then wait a day. I guess I could do that if I wanted to do it right now. Maybe we could do that 
next time. But for right now, so we'll do this one, talk to Vasquez. So now we got that one tracked. Let's go over to wherever we need to go to talk to this guy and go talk to his, uh... Where in the world? Why can't I use this? Why is this unavailable? Uh... I have no idea. I guess I have to leave then. Pfft, okay. I guess I'll get my vehicle and then... Apollo Scorpion... Yeah, let's get that. I'm like, it's it's literally Scorpion's heckin' bike, so... It just makes sense that we use it out here in the Badlands and stuff like that. It seems like it's more suited out here, so... Where is it? It's over here? Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, my, uh, my... my <laughs> that's my Delamain right there. I guess it put part my Delamain there randomly. I didn't realize it. <laughs> so anyways, now we can get on this thing. Then we can just leave, I guess. And maybe go to a different fast travel and then... Uh, this one, sure. Or this one at the very end of the highway. This one, there you go, sure. At the Sunset Motel, yeah. Whoa! Just saw a bunch of, like, rocks floating at the top of the screen right there. That was crazy. Either way, guess we'll go over to the Sunset Motel real quick, use the fast travel over there, and then we'll go check up on the, uh, whatever that one guy's name was, that prisoner guy that got out of prison. He's on furlough or some meme, and, uh, he's, he's going to literally crucify himself because he wants to record a BD, and uh, I'm, I'm, like, I'm still really confused about the whole thing. Like, he's... Oh, whoa, did you see those cars right there? How's crazy? They just appeared and then disappeared instantly. Very strange stuff still happening in this game that's been out for like four months, you guys. Golly. Either way, like I said, uh, let me let me head on over to this mission and I'll see you guys here in just a bit.